Okay, so this particular problem gives you a mapping diagram. On the left-hand side, we have the numbers 1, 3, 4, and 7. And on the right-hand side, we have the numbers 8, 12, and 14. And we're asked to rewrite the relation. This is a relation using ordered pairs. And we're also asked to find the domain and the range. So, a relation just links together two sets. And this set over here, we have the numbers 1, 3, 4, and 7. On the right, we have the set of numbers 8, 12, and 14. And in this particular relation here, 1 is mapped to 8, 3 is mapped to 12, 4 is mapped to 14, and 7 is mapped to 14. And you can think of this almost as inputs and outputs. When you are given 1, or it's almost like a button, if you went over here and press the button for 1, you're going to be given an output of 8. If you press the button for 3, you're going to be given the output of 12. Now, to rewrite this using order pairs, we need to have our inputs on the left as our x-coordinate and our outputs on the right as our y-coordinate. So we can rewrite this relation, this is number 1, as, well, the first, the first uh, two things here that are linked together are 1 and 8. So we can write that as 1, 8. And that just tells you when you press 1 or the input of 1 is mapped to the number 8. You will receive. If you press 1, you're going to receive 8. Same thing with the others. 3, 12. 4, 14. And finally, 7, 14. And that's all we need to do. If you're asked to write a relation using order pairs, you just write the inputs on the left-hand sides and the outputs on the right-hand sides inside the ordered pair. And you should be able to go from order pairs to a mapping diagram or from a mapping diagram to order pairs. Now the second question asks you for the domain and range. And this is just terminology that you have right now, but you're going to get used to it. The domain is just the set of inputs. So the domain is all of these first numbers in an ordered pair. Or it's the set of inputs, right? It's this listing right here. So the domain of this relation is the set of numbers 1, 3, 4, and 7. And I don't mind if you write it like that. There is a more technical notation that we could be using, but I'm okay with you just writing domain and then listing the numbers. The range is just the output. The numbers that are in the set of outputs. So in this case, that's all of the y coordinates here, 8, 12, 14, and well, we already have 14. We don't really need to rewrite it twice, as you'll see, and that's just this over here. This is the right-hand side of the mapping diagram. So the numbers 8, 12, and 14, and that's it. We do not need to list 14 twice. So just to rephrase things here, a relation is just um, it's almost like relating two sets. You're related to your cousin. There is a connection between you and your cousin that you can map out. Just like in this particular problem, there is a connection between 1 and 8. 1 is mapped to 8. 3 is mapped to 12. And we can go from this diagram, which is a very visual representation of this relation, and we can write it a little bit easier without having to draw arrows just by saying, well, 1 and 8. 1, 8. That gives us the ordered pair. 1's related to 8, 3 and 12, 4, 14, and 7, 14. And the combinations there, once we have all those ordered pairs, the inputs, the set of numbers that are first, would be the elements of your domain. And the second numbers would be the elements of the range.